What's going on YouTube? How y'all been? How you doing? What's new? Well, as you can tell, I am back in my truck. I am back in my truck after two days relaxing in a hotel. The battery's getting low. My other ones have not charged. Put that up on a higher amp. Got that trickle charge on these rechargeable batteries and it's taking too long. So anyway, I got a, uh, got a uh, question from somebody. Anyway, let me back up here. I am sitting at the Freightliner at the Freightliner uh, shop here because they just got done with my truck not too long ago. So uh, I came in, sent a message to my DM letting them know I'm ready to roll and uh, he'll send that off to logistics, tell them uh, as soon as they got something for me, um, I'm ready, I'm ready to get going. So I'm just waiting on that and uh, hopefully that'll come through here soon. Um, yeah, I had the. Uh, I actually had the uh, one of the mechanics, like this head guy, came out and I asked him some questions about the truck, um, just to learn a little bit more. And um, he showed me some things to watch out for on these trucks, to pay closer attention to, and um, and that's helpful. So um, you know most important thing you know you got to keep this truck rolling you know you got to keep it keep it so um so you, you don't have downtime and stuff and even though i i have downtime i've got you know two days this is day number three really but we'll call it two and a half days i've been sitting around um and and that was with me doing good pre-trips and catching that um so I mean it's it is what it is you know that might be the case but for the most most part most importantly do your pre-trips and your post trips I didn't mention that in the video your pre-trip and your post trip because your post trip is gonna catch things you know you run five six hundred miles in a day you need to do your post trip to then check over everything yet again and keep on top of that So anyway, um, gonna do try to do a short video. I know my videos seem to uh, run out in length, and I apologize for that. So I'm gonna try to get through this one kind of quick. So I got a message from I think it was Idaho me trucker, and he was asking me, you know, what do I have in my truck? What types of things would I recommend? What types of things are good, or what do I want? What am I doing for cooking? things like that so it, those are good questions so I'm gonna do a little uh, video about that um, starting out starting out as a new trucker um, the things I would recommend are uh, a refrigerator and a microwave and then get the foods that you want you know the fridge that I've got I got from Best Buy it's a three and a half or four cubic foot fridge it cost me about 120 bucks um, and it's got a freezer section in there and I can stock probably a good two weeks worth of food in that thing um, you've got cubby holes for all your dry foods and chips and soup and whatever else that you want um, and then your microwave I think that costs like 60 bucks or something like that it's small enough just to fit right on top of the fridge um, and that's it you know other appliances you can get as as you move on um, you know a juicer I want to get a juicer one of these days they've got rice cookers you know you can do a foreman grill grill up some chicken um, but a fridge and a microwave I think are important to start out with and that way you're not relying on truck stop food and stuff even though a lot of the truck stops you got healthy options um, and you got far other end of the spectrum <clears throat> so um, those two things I would suggest to start out with 
Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, oh, I got a TV, um, you know, for your entertainment, your decompression time, your downtime. Uh, I got a TV back there. Um, you can, I mean, if you wanted to go all out, you can get these direct TV dome dishes type thing um, that'll mount on the truck. They're meant for travel. Um, so, and then you can get direct TV on that thing, but the the dome alone costs like 600 and some odd bucks and then and then you got to pay for direct tv service on top of that and i just i don't i at first i thought that's what i was going to end up getting but really i don't need it too much i mean there's there with um i've got a little adapter i've got the iphone 6 and i've got this adapter that'll plug into the phone and then i can run an hdmi cable from that into my tv and then port everything from my phone onto the TV. So any videos, YouTube and Zulu or Netflix, um, anything like that, uh, you can just watch on the TV. Um, like I said, I got a 24 inch. That was the biggest I can get for the mount they had available. You can get bigger. I mean, you can get, I heard one guy had like a 50 inch in there. It's at the foot of your bed. How big do you need, you know? But, um, 24 inch swivel tilt you know all that stuff so I can watch TV from up here and just swing it out or at the foot of my bed and kind of tilt it down a little bit um, it does not get in the way of the top bunk coming down up and down um, even though my top bunk always stays up I I've got plenty of room to store you know everything I need in this thing without throwing stuff up on that top bunk um, so yeah, I use that for uh, my decompression. I've got an app through, uh, I got Comcast at home, or Xfinity, whatever they call themselves now. Um, and I've got an app that will link into my DVR at home and I can watch, you know, everything that I've DVR'd. I can watch live TV and all that stuff. So spending all that money for direct TV, not for me. There's There are times if you end up stopping in a spot where you've got, really poor service then there are times and it's it, it has happened you know then there's times where I'm like damn wish I had direct TV but um, I mean that's like one or two times out of ten that I might end up in those places so um, and if that's the case you know I got more time to snooze I guess but um yeah, so I've got those appliances, um, stock it up with the food, whatever you want, and uh, and then my TV for my downtime. The other things that I've got, the other things that I would recommend for uh, that you need for for starting out or being you know trucking whenever, get yourself a little book, um, not a book, it's just a little uh, whatever you call this thing. Um, I've got my. Uh, that's the shop thing. I got a little um, legal notepad in there. You write all your trip information down on that. Trip numbers, where you're going, where you're heading. Uh, bill of lading numbers. All that pertinent information on the other side. All the bills that you get from the companies um, are going to go in there. Now, you have to eventually send that in. Well, you have to not eventually. Pretty much at the end of each trip, you, you send that in. Um and it's via Transflow. So um, Transflow is is a system that's set up to where you can just, if, uh, if you go into a truck stop, most places have Transflow. You set your stuff down there, um, your bill of ladings, your scale tickets, um, all that stuff, you're gonna just fax right off to the company. If you don't wanna do that, and I haven't used one of those yet, I've got an app on my phone, I download, I think it's called Transflow Plus, and you download that app you can you set out your bill of lading you take a picture of each page uh, you review it crop it do whatever you need to do and send it off and it's it's gone it's done um, and it'll send you an email confirmation that you did that too so and then you just keep those bills for um, you know a couple two three four weeks in case there's any question down the road that they never got it but you also have that confirmation email that you can click on a tab or a link and it'll show you exactly what you sent. So you keep that stuff, you know, for a short period of time and then it's out. Um, the other app that I've got, I think I talked about it in my other video, is um, 
the Trucker Path. Not the, it's just Trucker Path. It's an app that I do my trip planning from. Um, there's this great thing. You can use the Road Atlas. You can, you know, do it all caveman style. Um, but we got this great thing these days. It's called, what is it called? It's called, oh, that's right. It's called Technology. Technology. Um, trucker Path. It'll show you right where you're at on the map. And I want to head over here. I'm going in that direction. Here's a truck stop. It'll tell me how many miles away I am from it, what exit number it is, what the parking availability is, whether it's wide open, it's starting to get full, or it's full up. Tells you how many um, showers they've got there, uh, whether they got scales, restaurants in the area, um, all that stuff. It also gives you rest stops, rest areas along your route. Um, so you can take your 30 minute breaks there as you go stop let the dog out you know exactly how far you are away from it and then also I've added like Walmart so it'll pop up all the Walmarts um, if you got to make a stop by there right quick and um, so trucker path trucker path is important to have I think um, what other technological advances do I have well I got this fancy thing called GPS uh, it's if you get GPS and I would recommend it I tried for a couple weeks of just going off directions being sent to me and routing being sent to me from the Qualcomm and I'd write down you know all this stuff and put it on a sticky note yeah even with that stuff you can end up you know you miss your turn or whatever and then you know you get in a tight spot or whatever after two weeks of doing that I was like hell no I'm getting a trucker GPS and so I did I got uh, a random McNally Rand McNally is the same company that makes the Atlas the road Atlas so I got a Rand McNally 730 I think it's the model 730 LS or something like that or maybe it's the 760 but it, it's um either way um, seven inch screen so it's big and do all that stuff and um, it'll give you it'll tell you five miles prior to coming up on a way station it'll tell you a way station that's coming up tells you down steep downgrades turns um, if you get off a truck route you know if you're in city or something like that it'll keep you on truck routes um, if you did not pre-plan pre-trip yourself well and you get off your uh, your route it'll tell you if you're coming up on a low clearance bridge um, I mean all that stuff so <clears throat> um, I'll still send in for directions off of my Qualcomm I still do a direction request and then I compare that to the routing that my GPS is sending me on and then uh, if there's any uh, question between the two then I'll, I'll pull up my map on my phone and I'll check that out and stuff um, before I I start getting into that so I'll compare the two even though you know I got the GPS and just make sure because every once in a while the GPS can send you through residential areas um, not typical but you know cities change they grow they reroute they do things like that that maybe your GPS hasn't caught up to something along those lines uh, the other thing that I've got is a dash cam. Um, I got the dash cam to protect myself, really. Um, there's a lot of crazy drivers out there. You know, you get in heavy traffic and people will cut in front of you so freaking close. It's ridiculous. And, I mean, there's a lot of scenarios that I think a, a dash cam um, is kind of, it's, it's your, uh, it's your, non-blinking eyes it's your uh, witness um, that can save your butt in the event of an unfortunate uh, situation so um, so on top of the uh, the little legal notepad get yourself some sticky notes or a small notebook or something like that um, that way when you're fueling you know you use the corporate card it's gonna ask you your trip number the mileage on your tractor um, trailer number truck number uh, your driver code all that stuff so what you don't 
already have memorized, you know, you jot that stuff down and then you'll be putting that in on the pump so you can fuel um, other stuff, you know. Sticky pad I like because if there is something that I need to access quickly, I'll just stick it on my little, my little side window here. Um, trying to think what else. Um, that's really it. Talked about my appliances I've got. Um, entertainment, technology, um, apps that I use, things, things to have handy. Um, bring yourself decent clothes to present yourself properly um, when you're at. Uh, the shippers and the receivers um, represent yourself and the company um, so they don't think there's just slobs driving for this company um, but also bring comfortable clothes you know bring sweats or sweatpants or shorts or warm-ups whatever you want to drive your long distances I don't like driving in jeans it's just a little too it's just not comfortable so uh, bring that stuff good pair of gloves bring yourself by yourself now um, I've got good leather gloves um, you can get cheaper you can get you know roofers gloves they're cheap these these are much they're only like 15 bucks a pop they get well worn you're gonna use these things and I shouldn't have even picked them up because now I'm gonna have to wash my hands but you can use these things um, you're going to want to use these things when you're fueling when you're pre-tripping when you're uh, doing anything um, hooking up to trailers, disconnecting, raising and lowering your landing gear, all that stuff. Pretty much everybody's got gloves on, so all their grease is going to get all over that stuff too when you're on different trailers. And you don't want to get that on your hands and then go open your door with it and then you just transfer that stuff onto your door handle or your hood. You know, when you're unlatching your hood, um, I'll do bare hands on that because. Uh, I just I don't want to get that get that stuff all greasy um, But fuel in washing your windows all that stuff good gloves bring some good gloves with you um, Shoes uh, a couple pairs of shoes, you know, I got easy slip-on shoes when I'm just jumping out to hook up or disconnect I just slip my shoes on jump out there. I don't wear shoes in the back um, so they always come off right here so easy to slip on and off so I'm not lacing and unlacing and then some good laced up shoes you know when when you are looking presentable at different locations and um, what what else Haley girl what else do we need to tell them about huh what else so content if you got a big dog or you got an aging dog um, steps steps you know take care of your pet Haley is nine years old I've had her since she was six weeks old um, she's still relatively young but she's she doesn't have the greatest of hips so she can't jump in and out of this big truck so I got steps from petclassics.com it's called their pet loader and um, those things are collapsible it collapses and sits right in the front passenger seat right between the seat and the, the dash um, sits right there I throw a her big pillow her big bed over the seat and extends over the step so she's got a big pot platform to lay on I'll show you I'll show you right quick so that's Haley girl and then her steps sit right there and then her pillow runs all the way across so she just she's a little co-pilot she just hangs out right there anytime we're rolling or pretty much whenever I'm up in this seat, she's right there. Just hanging out. She's about to pass out. Been a long day. Been a long couple days, huh? We got so many miles. We just walked all over the place while we were waiting. Got some exercise. So, um, yeah, so if you got a big dog or an aging dog that you can't just pick up and throw in the truck, um, that's what I would recommend. And, um, it works out perfect those things they've got three different sizes that will accommodate up to a 150 pound dog and um, I got the medium size uh, I think with tax shipping everything was about two hundred and fifty dollars right around there plus change um, 
but I mean that thing's worth its weight in gold um, and it makes it really easy on an old Haley dog so that's what I would recommend I'm already at 20 minutes and I was hoping to keep this at 15 tops but um, I'm gonna wrap it up with that I'm gonna sit here and wait and hopefully uh, any minute now my Qualcomm is gonna start bleeping at me and telling me I've got a new important message and I can uh, hit the road and start rolling because uh, that's what we came to do, didn't we? We came here to roll, and um, I just want to get going. I, I ain't about sitting around. All right, well, uh, appreciate the questions and comments. If you like it, give it the thumbs up. You got any other suggestions, questions, put them down below in the comment section. Subscribe. Subscribe to my uh, my journey, my adventure that that I'm on here. Um, if you do subscribe, there's a little bell next to the subscribe button. Click on that, and that will notify you as I put up new content. And um, with that, I'm going to sit here and hopefully uh, something comes through the, the Qualcomm shortly and... And I'll get rolling and then I'll post another video um, when I got other great ideas. So everybody have a good one.